Welcome back to the Subtle YouTube channel. Today we're doing something so exciting, which is trying out the viral underpainting technique. This is a technique used by a lot of makeup artists like Mary Phillips, who does Hailey Bieber, or Scott Barnes, who does JLo. And it's really just a way for your face to look snatched and chiseled without being able to tell that you're wearing a ton of like contour and highlight on top. You essentially do the contour and the highlight underneath the makeup, and this is the result. I loved this technique. It's one that I've used for about a year now, especially when I have like a big event to go to or I want my makeup to really like last all day, especially if I'm going to be outside and I want it to look more subtle. If you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. So let's go ahead and watch this TikTok real quick and then we're going to get into it. Finally trying Mary Phillips underpainting technique technique is basically applying cream contour and highlight before foundation. This is supposed to give you a subtle, sculpted, flawless look. So let's see. So for the contour, I'm going to be using a cool toned dark concealer. If you don't have a true contour palette or contour stick, you don't need it. You can just use a darker concealer. This one is 15 C and it is like a cream concealer. So I wouldn't use like liquid. I would use cream. So we're going to go in with the stipling brush from the four piece brush set. This guy is amazing. It's made my life like so much easier. It just blends things really well. Basically to start, we're gonna look a little crazy. But first, real quick, I have a few little pimples that I wanna cover up with just the regular concealer. And again, you're gonna apply like more liberally than you normally would because we're gonna be covering it all. Okay, and then I'm probably gonna go over those areas again. Just wanted to cover that up underneath the foundation. I do have this Glow Screen Super Goop sunscreen on as a base. It's just really nice and glowy. So I'm going to start by using the stipling brush in the the concealer and again this is shade 15 C and we're gonna apply way more than we normally would it's gonna look a little crazy but you just gotta trust the process okay and that's a nice thing about underpainting is that you can just like do this really messy and you don't need to worry about like blending it out enough. It's just all gonna be fixed once we put on the foundation. And trust me, the crazier the better. Okay, so we've got it on the cheeks. She did do it like by the temples almost. I didn't realize that was like a contour spot, but we're doing it today. Like I don't even usually put a lot of foundation there. And people often do contour up here. I already have a short forehead. So I'm just gonna do like a teeny bit just to kind of warm it up. Okay, and then we gotta snatch the jawline. This is my favorite. Like anytime I do foundation, I honestly do dark contour under here. This really helps, especially if you are like going to an event or a wedding where you're gonna be taking photos. And I've done this technique a lot and my mistake has always been not going dark enough. That being said, I'm gonna add a little more. I'm gonna try out using this eyeshadow brush so that I can do like a more precise line for nose contour. Nose contour is really hard for me, but you know, we're gonna give it a shot. I saw a TikTok recently that brought the nose contour like all the way under the eyebrow. So I'm gonna give it a try. If you guys aren't on TikTok, A, you should follow us on TikTok because I post on there all the time. And B, I get all of my genius makeup ideas from TikTok and it's just like fun to try new things. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then she does like a little Doop, doop. So next we're gonna do a highlight. I'm gonna use the cream highlight in Rosé. I really love doing highlighter under the foundation. Like even if you don't do the contour, definitely do highlighter under foundation because it just like makes the glow look so much more natural. It makes it look like it's actually your skin that's glowing and not just like makeup. Okay, now we're gonna go in with my actual concealer. This is shade. 3N for neutral. And normally I do the concealer over the foundation. So this will be interesting. I feel like the nose is looking real crazy. Okay, and then I think I missed the contour um, on the eye. It's basically like right here. 
So I think this is just kind of helping create a, like a definition type cat eye shape. Real quick, gonna fill in the eyebrows just to kind of frame the face. And then I'm gonna add just like a little bit more because I know it looks really dark on camera, but I went inside and looked in the mirror and it's like not that crazy. So teeny bit more and then just a little bit more of the highlight just to make sure that's really peeking through. If you guys don't already know, I'm absolutely obsessed with our cream highlighter. This one is in the color Rose, so it's almost like a highlighter blush duo. I'm obsessed. This is where we're gonna add our foundation. So I like to mix two colors of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It is Deauville and Fiji. I'm really going for a light application here. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender and just hopefully use this really sparingly. This is like a damp beauty blender. First, I think I might go over all of this and just blend it out a little bit more. I like applying it on the hand and just doing a few dots, lightly tapping to blend everything out. And I'm really careful when I do this not to drag anything so that the makeup underneath stays put and stays in place. And then I usually just like take the excess and we'll dab it over the eyelid. I feel like this is looking so good. Yes, it looks like I kind of just have a foundation on. It just kind of adds definition and dimension to my face. Like usually when you just put foundation on, it just looks like very flat. So I love that some of the contour and some of the highlight is peeking through, but I am gonna add a little bit more on top because like I said, I always end up going too light. So that's just a reminder, like next time I'd probably go a little heavier I think underneath the chin was like the perfect amount to just kind of define the jawline. But with the concealer, I am just gonna add a little bit more on top. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of eyeshadow and lips to finish off the look. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with Jelly. Just gonna add the shimmer color as kind of the base. And actually, I think I want more of a bronzed look, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Dew for the crease instead of the purpley color in jelly. So just gonna add Dune to my stack real quick and then dip into this brown color. I'm gonna start applying here and then just kind of work it into the crease a little bit. And then underneath, I'm gonna mix the brown and this shimmer for my waterline. Ooh, I feel like that looks really pretty. That was another tip I just saw on TikTok was to do like a lighter shadow underneath the eye instead of like something super dark. Okay, now we need to add some blush. I'm gonna go ahead and do Mauve in the Maldives Lip and Cheek. Also, is it Mauve or Mauve or something? I said Mauve on TikTok and got crucified for it. So let me know in the comments how you pronounce Mauve. I'm gonna use the dry brush cleaner real quick to get off some of that uh, cream. Dab that in there ever so slightly and just tap. I love how smoothly this applies everything. It helps me blend things so much more. Do a little on the nose. And then gonna go ahead and add just like a little more of that cream highlight. Give it a really pretty glow. And lastly, gonna finish off with some shine control powder. I really just apply this in the places that I need it. The forehead, chin, and sometimes the nose if I went a little too crazy with the highlighter. Some bronzer in the shade Leche, just kind of all over the face, just to really marry everything together. And then I'm gonna use this lip liner with the Mob in the Maldives. This is Stark Naked by Urban Decay. And like Pack, if you want your lip liner to match your lip and cheek, you can just use a super skinny brush in the lip and cheek and use that as a lip liner. That works super well too. I like kind of how that lip liner has a more like bronzy color or brown like nude. So that's why I like mixing it with the lip and cheek. Just to add a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna do the cream highlighter on top. So pretty. And there is the final look. Up close, you can really see a little bit better how that contour is like peeking through. I think this is a great 
look if you're doing like an all day event, if you want your makeup to just be a little bit more camera ready. And it's also going to last better throughout the day because the contour and the highlight and everything isn't just like sitting on top of your foundation. It's like locked into your skin a little bit more. But yeah, I love how this turned out. I feel like it just looks like my jawline is a little bit more snatched, but without that look of having too much makeup on. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, comment down below. Let me know what other techniques you'd like to see me try. And if you want to build your own customizable subtle stack, head to subtlebeauty.com. And this is just your reminder that you can absolutely do more full-on glam looks with your subtle stack. Yes, it's perfect for quick three product, five product, easy makeup looks, but you can also bring this with you when you're traveling or going to a wedding and you have everything you need for a full glam look. Mm -hmm.